Andrew Hill and the party traveled to the accursed house of healing, where they met the sadistic Malice Thorn. Upon his demise, a loot was found, and that was the key to waking Art, the Flaming Fist. Halson was able to open a portal to the Shadowfell to save Daniel, the spirit of the land, and so the Druid finally joined the party. Today, Edrihil leads his friends back into Wraithwind Town, where more Thorms await. They will finally venture into the Moonrise Towers to find the prisoners held within. Edrihil, our Vengeance Paladin, has led his party back over here to Wraithwind. For our party at the very beginning of today's chapter, we've got the Druid Halson, Shadowheart, and also Asterion. Now, let's have a look around. I did see these plaques over here, so I want to inspect each and every single one. Thorm, huh? There's something All right. about these plaques. There's another one to the right. Over there. Right there, too. And let's see. One more over to the left. We've got so many objectives to do, but we're going to take our time by beginning right here. It might be worth a look. So now we need to go down. It's over here, a shadow barrier. I'll take it out for fun. Now it's gone. So here we are right now. Once we're done looking at whatever room is down here, we'll move over to the southwest. We've got to punish the wicked. He who was wants to bring justice to the victims of a murderer. To do so, he needs a ledger belonging to the killer. It is hidden in the waning moon, so we'll do that right after. No kidding. A Sharan Sanctuary. Let's have a look around. So we've got a fine statue. As my feet can carry me. A statue of Shar. I'm able to attack it. I won't do that. I know bait when I see it. I'm not going to get caught into a trap. Not me, not today. We're not about Shar, but Shadowheart is. Maybe in time she'll change her ways. But here's a plaque. Let's have a look. Do you accept Shar's test of your intellect? Oh, you're testing me? Sure. An untested mind is a dull mind. Thank you, Halson. We've got resistance, all thanks to you. I could use Bless. I won't do that right now. A DC of only 14. A 19. We made it. Very good. You feel a small pulse of energy race up your spine. And a strange sensation of acceptance. I'm already feeling great. So we've gained what? Dark Lady's erudition has earned Char's approval through an impressive display of wit. As a plus five bonus to intelligence until finishing a long rest. Oh, good for me. I know how to read now. It's another plaque. Let's check it out. Are you bold of heart and sharp of tongue? Can you turn any and all to the Dark Lady's cause? Yes, and also no. Let's make a saving throw. Of course. Need you even say it? A DC of 14. No bless here, not today. A 19, we did it. Confidence surges through you. You feel like there is nothing you can't do, no one you can't win over. The statue seems to agree and approve. Sure. So what do we have now? Plus five to charisma. That's incredibly good. All right, one more plaque to look at then. Right over here. Do you think yourself wise enough to be granted Shah's blessing? I believe so. No, I know so. Look, Edrihil here feels like a sage after all he's been through. Let's try it out. A DC of 14 once more. A 12. That's okay. We do have inspiration. We'll try again. Come on. A 20. But not a net 20. A warm swell rises through you. Acceptance. You are worthy. That we are. More inspiration, Acolyte. Honing the darkness. Well, there you go, Shadowheart. We've got what? Plus five to wisdom, charisma, and also intelligence. I don't want to take a long rest for a long time then. I'm ready. <laughs> I what really don't want to. Now... What do we have over here? A dagger of Char. Do I want to touch it? Not really, but Shadowheart might want to. Let her do it. An altar to Char. It appears to seek prey and a blood offering. 
your blood. Not Edrahill's. So here we go. A cleric of Shar response. Take up the dagger. Recite Shar's wisdom and to offer blood from your arm. Go on now. It's your job, not mine. Very good. So, we've got what? A dagger? Oh, hold on. Am I not allowed to take it? Huh. Alright, I won't do it. I want to, but I won't do it right now. Maybe I'll come back later on to actually take it. But instead, we've gained what? Some new potions. Two scrolls over to the left. Nice. Largely because I don't want to fight a battle. Not right now. I'm looking at it one more time. <laughs> I want to. But no, I've got to be rest. patient. Largely oh. because we've been buffed up. And so because of that, I don't want to have to rest up so soon. Maybe later. Let's go back over to the surface now. Time to head down to the waning moon. It's over to the southwest. I'm sure I'll take a wrong turn oh somewhere, fuck, but I'll try to be mindful. Yeah, there we go. We're not too far away, are we? No, we're not. A blighted troubadour. Strange. So we've got potentially living or unliving creatures wandering around. An oil flask. Huh. I'll take it. Doors that are currently locked. I could use a Styrian, but not today. Knock knock. Beautiful. Now we're inside. Well, another door. Thankfully it's not locked. What crazy stuff are we going to find here? It's all been rather wicked, hasn't it? Oh, what an awesome end. Well, it would be if it wasn't for all the evil. A little evil? Okay. Too much evil? That's a bit much. Oh, a key. Hold on. I'm glad we came in here. A key for what? I don't know. That door that we broke down? If it is, so be it. Not that handy, though. All right now we're inside. I've yet to run into anyone who wants to attack me. A good start. Here's a wooden chest over to our left. Let's open that up. Alchemical ingredients. There's a wandering undead, but again, it's not hostile. Not as of right now. Let's keep on looking around. Undead who are drinking. I feel like I've seen patrons like that before. Fire wine. All right. And a blackboard. Welcome to the waning moon. To lifelong friends, both old and new. Old and new. Oh, look at that creature. It's inhuman. Another Thorm. What an evil, foul family. Let's have a drink, I guess. What a corpulent bloat to him. He's about to burst, it looks like. Drink! Go back down where you whistle. Tell your story. I don't really want to, no. However, we could use more information. We'll keep on talking to Thorms and hopefully be able to suss out something. But my first question, what in all nine hells are you? Son of Thorm! Son of Sword Coast! Go on! Kiss! Burn of the... Go not. It's bloated like a corpse and smells worse. Did the curse do this? That's my question. Normally I wouldn't drink, but fine, we'll do it right now. That creature here seems a bit dense. I mean, really dense. Time to pick up the tankard. Go on, Edriel. Leaning in, you can see how the creature's skin barely holds it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting wide open. He looks set to burst. And we'll probably be left hip deep in his juices. Go on, Flynn. 
Make it drunk. Be drunk. You and I both. To our good health. I just saw his nipples and I wish I could unsee it. To our good health? Alright. A saving throw. Time to drink then. I've got my aura of protection, a DC of 14. Thank you, Halicin, for resistance. I could use Bless. Let's do it then. A level 1 Bless. Total bonus of 10 to 16. Let's go. Don't fail today. A 29. Cheers. The liquid burns your throat as you swallow. But otherwise, you feel no ill effects. Oh no, he's gonna squirt. He's squirting. I don't want to drink that. Oh, here we go. Now tell me a story. A fable. A saga. Me. If I've got to, I suppose. I've got many stories too. I mean, so many. I could choose any one of them. Let's try from aboard a Mind Flayer vessel. I've witnessed the Hells themselves. Total bonus of plus four. Not really sufficient in my view. <laughs> but that's okay. A DC of 21. Jeez. A 16. We failed. I've got inspiration. I'll try again. Come on. A seven. We're just not doing well at the moment. Another bonus. Let's go. A 22. We barely made it. So am I. When my cup runs dry, let me pour you some sympathy. You ask, you drink, then you amaze. And fuse a stone me again. All right. Now, who placed the curse on this land? Father Catherine created. Father Catherine sustains. Bring it in. Toss it down. Lab it up. Sure, but hold on. How did you become what you are now? Father Catherine's laughter. Not joy. Not ever, never. Only laughter. Questions done. Finished. Over. Only drink. Okay, okay. Hold on. Before we do that, Let's try to switch over to Shadowheart. I've had worse. <laughs> Look at Allison. All right. I want everyone down over here. We need to play it safe if we can, and we should be able to. Asterion, you've joined in. That's okay. Let's have a look at the map. We're looking at how many undead. A blooded actor, Thorm, a barman, and a patron. There could be more, but they're above us largely. That's all right. That's okay. Or they're at least just around us. Hopefully we'll be able to use another bless. We'll need to, especially if we want to do well. We don't want to fail. Yeah, after we're done here, we'll have a look around. We're getting closer to the Moonrise Towers, but we'll head over to the east, over to the Toll House. Do as he says. Drink. A DC of 16. Another bless? Probably. Let's do that. I've got my helmet of smiting too. Plus one to a con saving throw. A 12. There goes my inspiration for today. Roll again. A 14. I've only got one more. Come on. 
There. When we fell, we fell, but when we pass, it's pretty high. My poor liver. My soul, my stomach. All on fire right now. Your belly rumbles as the vile brew fills it. Yet your mind remains miraculously steady. Alright, sure. I've got a few options here. Let's go down. I slayed a hideous, pustule ridden hag. She died a gruesome death. Bonus again, guidance. DC of 16. We made it, 23. <laughs> Did you open her up and find the inner beauty? A wonderful tale. Fit for children. Ask, question, make your query, and drink once more. <sighs> There's no way we make it. But what can you tell me about Ketherick? Father. Father is father. Eternal, invincible, forever, except not another drink. Hold on, hold on. How is, or I suppose not only Catherick, but how do the Thorms sustain the shadows? God, he's twitching. Now, what do you mean? How can I defeat Catherick? No, must not, cannot, will not mention her. The customer is always right, but also wrong. Her, huh? All right, steal yourself and drink. A DC of 18. Crap. Alright, bless again. I'll keep on blessing. I've got to. Don't fail. A nat 1. We failed. A critical failure. Oh no. The creature's brew is more potent than anything you ever drank before. You feel instantly drunk and unsteady on your feet. Oh, you're kidding me. Shadowheart, you were right. He blew up. 
Oh. There might be some more drink for the rest of us. Wait, who's talking? Huh. Another step forward. Let's check out Thorm. We've got a worn key. Sorry. Nothing really after I'll that. Right Nothing that I want. I the should. undead, they're just wandering around. I feel like I should really just investigate. Wait, a rat bat. Ah. That's curious. I'll take that. Loose planks too. We've got Madeline's ledger. We need that for that one fellow called He Who Was. Let's pick it up then. Punish the wicked. Wait, hold on. I'm still drunk. Maybe I need to sleep it off. We did pretty well though. I'm glad we were able to last. The undead, we could beat them. Are we gonna do it right now? Let's give it a moment. Okay, the moment's passed. They're undead. They've gotta die. Well, they've gotta be destroyed. But hold on. Can I talk to them? To do mess our pardon. Uh, our master d distiller spills quite the cause. Now settle your mind, chum, and get your shine on. Be will it what? Strange. They mime their former lives. They're not hostile. Now, I wonder, what have you got? M moon, mountain dark, coming r r right up. A man of proper t taste. I didn't order anything. To chum yourself up and whisk the old luggage to chug bug you. So be what? Well, that's disturbing. Still, better than having an actual conversation with him, though. I don't disagree. Asterion, you know what? You'll come over here. Do that for me. Then I want you to attack. Go on. A decent hit. We're fighting what? Four total? Understood. Let's keep on striking. Offhand. Alright. What a lot of damage. One barman nearly gone. Alright. Let's bring him out over here. Step quick. Right now, Edger Hill is drunk. I mean, he put up a very mighty fight. Let's take out that blooded barman for more attack. Good job. Alright, Halson, come over here to the right. Use your shillelagh. It's a bonus action. Perfect. Alright. Now back over to Shadowheart. What do we have around us? Can't get over here. Are you blocked? Well, hold on. Edriel, let's have you jump then. You might be drunk, but you know how to fight. You know what to do. Oh. You've nearly got it. I want to move a little bit closer, if I can. Hopefully that'll be sufficient. Alright. Swing away. Goodbye, actor. Two hits in. In turn. Now, Shadow Hard. You should be able to move. If you can't move, then jump. Jumping should be sufficient. Yeah, she was stuck for just a moment. Only a moment. Now, about the undead above us. There's no way to hit him. No, not there. So, instead, what we'll do... We'll just wait here for the moment. Let them come to us. Alright. They did lose out on their turn. So, at the moment, I'm gonna need good Asterion to dash. Bonus action. He's gonna run upstairs. We just want to attack. We want to attack right away. Move a little bit closer. Another bonus action. I could hide, sure. Let's do it. Time for another sneak attack. A ranged one. 40 damage. Whoa, okay. That's so good. 14 HP left. Now, Halson, I want you to join him. Yeah, jump up here. Good idea. I could have you transform. Do you truly need to? Probably not. Let's bring your foe over here. Thorn whip. Blinded. Ha ha ha. You're too close to Halson. His arms are too mighty. They blind our foes. Now, Shadowheart. Come join our buddy Edrihil. Another sacred flame. Save up your spell slot. Three damage, a radiating orb on our target for four turns, by the way. Let's see. Minus one to attack rolls per remaining turn. That's a major debuff. 
Yeah, I've got some items on her. Coruscation ring. And over here, luminous gloves. Let's end her turn again. The fight. Let's Andrew go. Hill. Finish. Yeah, there we go. One more attack. One more undead gone. All right. I would like to jump. I could also jump up here. Incredible. You're a bit tipsy, but you're going to be okay. Oh, right. That barman. One HP. I thought I was seeing things. It's only one HP. Dash one over. We'll take care of you, too. A slam on Edrahill, but even when he's drunk, he's able to dodge. He's very good at dodging. Shoot away Asterion. Alright, it's gone now. Let's come down over here and take out another one. Offhand attack. Two undead gone. Now, the remaining undead is quite far away. It'll likely dash down. Perfect for us, I think. All right, hold on, hold on. We're not done yet. We just need to dash a little bit more. Allison, you'll come over here. Then after that, Andrew Hill, Time to I doubt you can down. jump down without, of course, being hurt. So you'll also do the same. You'll also dash. Perfect. Yeah, these enemies were not too extreme. Naturally, if we fought that corpulent creature, it probably could have gotten bad. Yeah, these are just little minions, really. Could I hit that undead? Yeah, I can. 12 damage radiating orb. She's all about debuffing now and also illuminating our enemies. That's going to be so powerful, I believe. All right, another bonus action again. Dash away right now, Asterion. I love using him. He's so good in combat. All right. Could we make an attack? Not quite, unless we dash again. Another bonus action gone, but it brings us a bit closer. That's all that we need right now. Shoot away. 22 damage. His turn is over. Allison, he's going to jump over here. He's moving and he's jumping. Okay. Another thorn whip. You need a bit more movement. That's unfortunate. Let's try once more. Nope. Too far away. Entangle. No, I don't want him to use any spell slots. So let's leave it alone. I've got other options. You know what? For now, use your Shield of Devotion aid. 10 more hit points for you. Might as well buff up. All right, here comes Shadowheart. Sacred Flame. Radiant damage is so good when you're fighting the undead. Eight damage. So now, Edrahill. Could he leap over there? Oh, not quite. We're so close, too. We're so very close. Hold on, hold on. Jump anyway. Perfect. Now, attack. You've got your crossbow. Ten damage. All right, one more attack. Two critical hits. I'll take it. So all the undead are gone. I mean, they weren't harming anyone, but we don't know what might have happened. Maybe they would become erratic without their leader. I'm not sure. But it feels good to win. Oh, hold on. We need to check out that rat bat. What a great name. 7 to 14 damage. Attack rolls against beasts have advantage. I'll give it over to Halson. Maybe he could use it from time to time. Yeah, that would be nice. Maybe I need to have a long rest. I've not been drunk before, so I'm not sure. We'll find out. I'll keep on persevering. I wonder what it might do to, let's say, conversations. Oh, research notes. All right. What do you say, note? Research notes. They describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distill a thizzable thorn sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. He procured several parts of a worm gullet, but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. Thizzable devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients, without success. 
After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Thisbald required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. The book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, and particularly redolent cadavers. Thisbald enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Okay. Focus your eyes on the page. Mentally separate the blank ink from the purple stain. An investigation roll. We do have our buffs. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Char. I never thought I would say that. Guidance, 1d4. DC, 14. A 19. Your mind separates the black from the blue, revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. With the corpse rose petals the package contains, you might create Thisbald's purple worm poison. Maybe so. Maybe so. A new recipe unlocked. That could be very, very handy. Now, there's a cage door. No one's inside that I'm able to see. Let's grab what's over here. Consignment, the waning moon. Poison resistance. Oh, hold on, Asterion. Shall we? You know what to do. How oh, for a skeleton key. Yeah, you are that key. What do you mean? 1d4 guidance, DC 10. Perfect. A nat 20. A waste here. Ooh, punch drunk bastard. Tipler's rage. While you are drunk, you have advantage on attack rolls. You also create a blast with each attack, dealing 1 to 4 thunder damage for 3 meters. Nice. Okay. <laughs> and another book. Let's see here. Would you like to know something interesting? <laughs> what a book. And we've got a new recipe. Nice. We've got others to pick up. Alright. Now, into that room. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Asterion, come back over here. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Disarm. I have to be sure that I clicked on that. All right. 1d4, dc14. Another nat 20. Man, if only I got That's that earlier crazy. whenever we were drinking. I don't want to be drunk forever. DC of only five. Very simple, very easy. Now let's go inside. All right, no locks in here. Just a few goods. Oh. Okay, one more chest. Don't let me down. You did. Barrels of skeletal remains. Uh, oh dear. She's well pickled, whoever she was. <laughs> That's really messed up, but a good line. Alright, let's continue to look around. Is that really it here? Something over there. Oh, more digging. Always doing digging. Wait, could I actually get up here? I'm wondering. Huh, no I can't. Good to know. Anyway, let me bring out my shovel. Can't use actions. I've got it. Alright, so it looks like for right now we're all done. We need to go back and actually turn in that one book. Yeah, we'll give that ledger to he who was. And I'll probably come back over here to the west. We'll pick up that stash. We don't need to rush to do it. I mean, we're really fine. Then after that, we could have a short rest, move on, head over to the toll house. Unfortunately, I don't believe I could have gotten rid of that drunk condition until taking a long rest, which means our blessings of Shar are now gone, but that's okay. I'm going to use up a few of my elixirs. So Halston, and also Edrahill, they've had what's called Elixir of the Colossus. Size is increased, weapon attacks deal an additional 1d4 damage, and, of course, they've got advantage on strength checks in addition to saving throws. Not only that, they're able to carry more. That'll last until we take another long rest. Now, 
let's go talk to he who was. We've got that ledger. Madeline sold out her patrons. We'll provide vengeance for the patrons who are gone now. The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. Sure, but how do you know I have it? The raven always knows. Okay. Here, take it. We have it. Her lies. Her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial. And you will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. That's a lot. Okay. So I've got my Oath of Vengeance response. When punishment is needed, my hand will not shy from the blade. The Raven was right. We were fated to meet. Break her, my friend. Most thoroughly. Witness. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> That I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Alright, that's really disturbing. I mean, really disturbing. Why don't you tell me what happened? I said it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was going to chat with him. She promised. Okay. So you do feel bad about it. Now, what did that figure actually do to your friends? She gave him a dagger each and told him to press it against their stomachs on the count of three to start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. I do get it. However, you did sell them out. We all know about Char. They're not great fellows. They're really not. Now hold on. Let's have a look over here. Pathetic. You murdered your friends. You're a coward. I mean, think about it. She did sell out her friends, and we're all about vengeance, as we have said many times before. That he who was guy, he's just a little bit more passionate, zealous. But think about what we've done, how many we've killed only for vengeance. All right, you're a coward. You're pathetic. A DC of 10. We've got it. Advantage. A total bonus of 6 to 9. Nice. 25. You're right. I'm a killer. A monster. I should have... died instead. <gasps> Glorious. <laughs> Look, my hand still shakes. You broke her most thoroughly. Well done. Yeah, imagine if Edrahill leaned a little bit further. He would be a lot more like him. She was punished. That's all that matters. If you are satisfied, then so am I. You have done well. Her pain and anguish were sublime. I will treasure it. Here, for your services. Should I find another murderer in need of torment, I shall call upon you. Farewell. Yeah, goodbye. Another point of inspiration. Oh, look at the raven. Die, die, die. Okay. We've got what then? 
Raven gloves. Okay. So we get to summon a raven. That's pretty cool. I mean, I wish it was a ring or something else, but that's all right. That's okay. A ledger. I don't need it. Yeah, let's go back now. We're going to head back over to that nearby town. We've got a bit more to check out. We'll easily be able to get over here. I don't know what's in the toll house, but I do aim to find out. I don't believe we have a quest pertaining to the toll house, but that's all right. We could find some new item, a secret, whatever. And of course, Edrahill is quite thorough. He's all about doing that. It's massive. Wow. The town's pretty big, but that's a lot. There's a bit of gold close by. Some roots to climb up. And a strange floating skull. I hear something above us. Let's go find out what it is. I don't mind doing that. Oh, what are you? What do you bring? Okay. You're made of gold. And also, I think I saw gold come out of your backside. Disgusting. You know what? Let's ask a few questions. Who are you? I require gold. These uh, thorns over here, they're really messed up, aren't they? I mean, they're all unstable. They appear to be caught up in whatever they're really passionate about. We haven't had to fight them. She should be the same, I believe. All right. If I give you gold, what do I get in return? That would be my option, but instead, let's play along. Here's a gold piece. Catch. Again. Now hold on. I don't hand out so much gold for so little in return. Yeah, it was only one gold piece, but Andrew Hill can be cheap at times. Unless it's for a new sword or whatever other new items we're able to find. You may pass the river, but first you must pay. Okay, hold on now. We could deceive her. I mean, it's an evil creature. We've got to destroy it, or we could allow it to maybe destroy itself. It happened over to Malice and also the other Thorm. I mean, he blew up. The other one poked out his eye, impelled his brain, I suppose. I'm here to replace you as Toll Collector. A DC of 18. Guidance, friends for advantage. Let's try it out. An 18 exactly. Replace me. No! I require gold! Do you now? I could intimidate that creature. Sure. I've got many benefits for it. Persuasion would work out too. Let's do that one. You've done a great job here, really. But now it's time to move on. Friends for advantage. DC of 21. A 24. I... Rick. Why, uh, gold? No. I paid back. Oh, she blew up. Okay. Hey, everyone, don't worry. We're not going to have a battle. Not with her. We've got over here Twist of Fortune, a Morning Star. When you roll two or less with this weapon's damage die, re roll it and take the new result. All right. A master's office key and an unsigned trade visa. Let's see. Whoever made it was planning to trade illegally within the toll house. Uh-oh. I'll take your gold. I don't know if I want your floor gold. I know where it came from. All right, what do we have over here? A door and a stuck safe door. Stand back, everyone. I've got it. A DC of 16. Let's go. 21. Easy. 514 gold. 
that's a decent amount. I mean, if I pick up every bit of gold here, that's a nice profit, I think. Now, what else do we have inside? What's Rotten that? floorboards. That's pretty dangerous. A toll house ledger. I wonder, could you have some information? An official record of traders and goods passing through Wraithwen, as well as the tolls collected, organized by date. Every entry is made with precise strokes, and each page stamped with a wax seal bearing the letters GT. Gotcha. Nothing too important. A heavy chest with a new uncommon shield. Iron Vine shield plus 2 to AC. And what do you do? While the wielder is holding a weapon empowered with shillelagh, and when they are hit by a melee attack, the attacker takes one piercing damage. That would have been very good in Act 1 for a druid. But Halston has a very good shield. We don't need it. Anything else? Yeah, there's bound to be more loot. I just need to look around over here, don't I? Oh, okay. We've got some vines. I'm gonna try to cut them down, can I? I'll bring out the mall. Let's try that one. Medium toughness. I'll have to bomb it, or we could just like climb up or do something else. Wait, what's over here? Another way inside? Hides cannot defeat Edrahill. Again, every day is leg day for him. Alright, what do we have inside? A great axe. Oh, Halston, I didn't want you to join, but you did. That's okay. It'll be alright. A locked chest. Okay. We'll give it over to, of course, Asterion. Now I need another potion of Featherfall. Well, we could also jump down and drink a few potions too. That would work out, but... I don't like the idea of characters hurting themselves like that. It feels weird. So there's one potion. Let's grab another one. Potion of Featherfall. Perfect. One over here for House and Two. Now we're going to be okay. Drink up. Let's go back over to Edrihill and jump down. I know that House and he's not a true soul. However... It should be okay. If it's not, my bad. <laughs> we'll be fine. All right, Asterion, get to work, buddy. Good thing I don't pay you because you can make a lot of money charging me. Easy. He's got it. A DC of 14. One D4. Look at that. A very high roll. Fire hard. Whenever you take fire damage, don't buy another creature. You gain two turns of heat. All right, I like that. What to do? Wonder now, finally, to time to move me. in. I'm only here to move into the prisons. We've got to free our people. Then, if we want to, we could leave close. for a time. I can feel it. The absolute. Its power is strong here. No kidding. Let's go inside now. Two zealots. All right. One is a paladin. Moon shield. Protected by the light of a moon lantern. Ah, understood. Let's approach. We should be fine. I hope. That's far enough. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah, one blessed like myself. <laughs> what news, true soul? Little from the field. What news inside? General Kethrick's advisor went off on a field trip. Zarel's in charge till he gets back. You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Let's hope this Zarel likes what we have to say. I do hope so. Let's go now. We will never say in her name. Now, we'll go through it's the main gate. to enter Moonrise with an unwelcome companion. You can pass as a true soul, but they cannot. Be sure to keep them close, so you can speak on their behalf if the cultists ask too many questions. That's fair. Let's press on. Steal yourself. 
and venture forth. Paulson should be here. I mean, he's got a very strong tie-in to everything that's going on. Asterion is only here right now because, again, we need someone who's able to pick any lock, and he's very good at it. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the Absolute. I do believe so. We'll take her time. Another truth. I've got to find a way to get into the prison. To through the main doors. Maybe later. I don't want to talk right now. So we've got one traitor at least. Nice. Okay. I'll come back with a lot more loot and gold too. I'll buy whatever he has. And over here, pilgrims. Oh, you fools. You've joined a cult. The Absolute herself called us here. They cannot stop us from seeing Zarel now. Where do you... Back of the line. I'll be the first of us to swear to the general. I mean, if you want to. You're one of her blessed, aren't you? To hear her voice, I cannot imagine. I can. It's terrible. I don't like it at all. Want to trade? Not all of us survived the shadows to stand here. My wife, my sons... They were unworthy. Hold on. Brothers, There's another traitor. Sister, Roa. Pray with me well I might have it wrong, so uh, correct me worthy. if I am wrong, but uh, didn't we I meet her worthy. back at the goblin yes. camp? You did. Yeah, she's a Zenthrum. Ah, a new face come to bask in the light of the absolute. How can I be of service, true soul? A new face? Yeah, there we go. We've met before. Of course. Just before some godless lunatic purged the place of every innocent soul. A pity neither of us saw what happened. Uh-huh. True. Let's have a look here. Speak for yourself. I had a pretty good view of the slaughter. Better to keep that quiet. Unless you want another look from the receiving end. Look around. All manner of beasties united against the enemies of the Absolute. Quite a god to bring them all together, and quite a fool who draw their ire. Hmm? Only a little bit, okay. You almost sound concerned for my safety, but instead, let's try to get a bit of information. Drop the act. What are you actually doing here? I'm not the one putting on an act, true soul. Though I'd mind how well you mouth your prayers. Spend enough time in this place, and you might just start to believe them. But look at me, preaching, and when I'm only here to serve. Anything to trade, true soul? In time, sure. Oh, Hopefully it won't be too hard to find that prison door. Alright, let's talk to maybe another Zalid. They're pretty powerful, I think we would have a hard time killing them all. Could we do it? I think we could. You'd find better lodgings out in the war camp, Trousseau. I know we're all one under the Absolute, but you do not want to bunk with an ogre. I know that, but thank you. He seems pretty kind. Here's an acolyte. Don't mind Meg and her meat sounds. It's just her brain slopping around in her skull. Her meat sounds? <sighs> Moonrise Towers. Many druids and harpers died to take this place once. Only for Ketherick Thorn to rule it once again. What a pain, huh? Alright, let's go. We'll talk to him again later. Monster lives in this tower. Something big. A monster? Tell me more. Hush. Meat sounds above. Here. I do hear it. For a moment, you do hear it. Flesh sliding on stone. Like a living being extending through the walls. What a place of nightmares. Something in the walls. What is it? Pig! In walls above! Maybe. Whole tower. Loudest near kitchen. But Mick Band. 
Not allowed to pet nose. Did you kill one? You find meat? You sure? I might, depending on what I get. All right, there's another door right here. Let's check it out. A trail of blood. It leads, what, downstairs? Yeah. That's probably where we need to go. Why else would there be a trail of blood? Hopefully the prisoners aren't dead. If they are, I'm gonna feel really bad about that. Let's continue to look around. I've got to explore. Hidden treasure. Ah, but on the other side of the door, I believe. This is the spot that's marked on that map. Wait, no, it's right over here. Never mind. I've got my mall. Time to say, open up. You know what to do, Adriel. It's bashing time. One more? I love being able to do that. Now, what's inside? A chest. Good. We've got an arrow of dragon slaying. Alright. Arcane interference. That's it. Are we going to fight a dragon? That would be cool if we were going to. I've not gotten to do so just yet. Dungeons and dragons. We've had dungeons, but what about dragons? No, we don't need to jump. Oh, a cat. Hold on. I'm going to talk to that cat. I've got some manner of potion for it. I've got many, actually. I mean many. I buy them all, all the time. Perfect. What's your name? Steel Claw. These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw, Furless One. Tread lightly. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt has my attention. For now. The cats are amazing. Sorry, your name is Steel Claw? It is a name I earn through bloodshed and death. Unfortunately, the more ignorant here refuse to use it. Fluffers, they call me. Idiots. <laughs> That's really messed up. Now, slithering vermin, they're called tadpoles. Their name matters not, merely their demise. I braved lapping waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many, and will butcher many more. But this one, this one I toy with. I slice. I tear, and when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards! Dear God. Okay. That's really cool, though. I mean, if only she would join us. She would be a great ally, right? She would kill them immediately. You know that tadpole is dead, right? Lies. It merely pretends. But I'm a patient hunter. I will wait for it to stir. And then I will strike. Now I must return to my prey. It has been too long since it felt the bite of fear. Okay. Halson is inspired. Mutual respect. More inspiration. Good. As an owner of two cats, that's accurate. Yeah, that is. Let's have a look over here. A cat hole. I'm way too big. Yeah, I am. I would love to play a Deep Gnome. I love Deep Gnome so much. As I may have mentioned before, that was my first D&D character. A Deep Gnome wizard. Oh, man. The world building I did for his society. It was a lot of fun. And I think pretty unique in a way. Timothy. Uh oh What are you actually? In another trader. I'm going to be able to just really buy so many items. That's going to be great for us. We've got one. Three knolls inside. They're all dominated too. Timothy, Tamelia, and also Barnabas. Linzella, you've got to be behind that. I'm sure of it. A moment, true soul. You use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. <laughs> Now, how can I help you? I've got questions for sure. Barnabas. 
I've shown Barnabas a kinder way. A kinder name is only fitting. That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. Okay. Now, let's use a paladin response. You mean you enslave people. Their will has always been hers to command. I am simply putting it back where it belongs. Behold. Barnabas, sweetie, come show what a good boy you are. What would you like him to do? That's a good question. I haven't really given that thought, you know. You know what? You decide. But actually, what Edgerhill would say to tie into his prior response is, nothing. Keep your sick games to yourself. Oh? As you wish. A little advice. Should you seek an audience with her, steal yourself. I'll do what I please, okay? To be remade, we must be willing to suffer. Okay. I don't want to do that. But how do I get to meet the Absolute? Please, Sorel. And you will be called to ascend to the tower top. Many have gone before you. Though not all have returned. I believe that. Now we do know there's some manner of creature up there. That's terrifying. Let's continue to look around. Okay, we're back outside. I don't want to go over here. That really isn't important to me. What else do we have? Another room? No one in that room. Oh, it's a kitchen. Okay. Oh, look at that mucus. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. I hate it so much. Bloodless pig meat. Bloodless, huh? Yeah, I do wonder, could I bring Meg a bunch of meat? If I can, great. <laughs> I don't know what would happen after that, but we'll see in time. So, who's over here right now? Brawler? Oh, goblins, okay. There's a few. Well, I'm not gonna head over there. Not to the main hall. Not for me, not right now. Who's over right here? Feet. It's a drow. A Raj Oblodra. What are you doing here? There's only one way to find out. She's a traitor too. Three traitors. Man, what a great opportunity. A Raj Oblodra. Traitor in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. I'd like to offer my services, if you're willing. Really now? Why are you interested in my pale friend? <laughs> Please. You think someone in my line of work wouldn't recognize a vampire spawn when they see one? I trade in blood and the potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one, if you'd honor me with your blood. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. Okay. Now, what kind of potion? No idea. But it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together, hmm? I don't know about that. What exactly will you do with the blood you keep? Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. Okay. I'm not interested. Not right now. I'm here, should you change your mind. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your friend. He's a vampire, no? Or one of their spawn, at least. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. I assume he belongs to you? He belongs to me. 
It is true that we do keep Asterion around on a leash. We haven't destroyed him. We could at any point. To be quite fair, we do have a follower of Shar here. In fact, Edrahil is dating her. They're together. We've also got Gel, who's a literal ticking time bomb. Will, who's got a devil patron. And so much more. We travel together, that's all. Ah, it's like that. Do you have a name, Spawn? Uh, Astarian, but, but hold on! Good. Now, Astarian, I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale. But it's yours. If you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? I'll do my best, okay? Now hold on, hold on here. A great potion that could benefit our team. That's really good. So, let's say she's bitten. We could kill her after. In fact, we'll probably do that. She's an enemy. And to take her out shouldn't be too difficult. We might even be able to do so quietly. I know Asterion won't like it, but again, he's our tool. A vampire spawn allowed to live right now. I'm surprised, Asterion. I thought you would jump at a chance like this. But instead, what Edrahil will say is quite simple. Just bite her. The potion sounds useful. I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? Are you actually asking me to do this? Trading me for some... some... some potion? Because there's something wrong with her blood. I can smell it from here. It's rank. I believe you. Now, hold on. What do you mean? What's wrong with her blood? I can't say. It just smells... wrong. Unnatural. Drinking it wouldn't kill me. But it would not be pleasant. I don't have all day, true soul. It won't kill you. Now, it's up to you, but we could really use that potion. Fine. I'll do it. Darling, I've had a sudden change of heart. After all, who could resist such a delectable neck? Hold very, very still incredible <laughs> incredible <laughs> oh hell oh. <clears throat> Not your taste. You're fetid, full of corruption. I feel exquisite, though. So here's my part of the bargain. I hope you find it as satisfying as I found this. It was everything I imagined, and then more. I'll be able to put this to good use. No kidding. A potion of everlasting vigor. Let's have a look at that. That's got to be good, right? I mean, really, really good at that. We're already very strong, so why not become a little bit stronger? Hold on now. Vigor, where did you go? Ah, okay. So, you look like an antidote. Good to know. Plus two to strength. You're kidding me. Oh, that's great! 22 strength! We are incredibly strong! 
Oh, that's going to help out so very much now. <laughs> Who's going to stop Hedrill? Now, when will I kill you? Maybe we get the prisoners out, we come back, then we slay her. But she's a traitor too, so I do want her items. Asterion, I'm very sorry, but keep in mind, you're only here because we allow you to be here. He doesn't hate me, but he doesn't love me either. Shadowheart, <laughs> she's getting there. Halston too, that was quick. Hold on, what's a pilgrim over here doing? She sees everything we are. Do you understand? There is no hiding from her. Okay. All right. He's not taking that very well. And it's probably about time. Before we go into the prison and before we trade, let's go into the main hall. All right. Zarel, are you here? That's you, all right, a half-orc. Wait, he's here, Thorm! He's very, very old, and also, right now, invulnerable. Why am I We here? can't beat him. Considering all that is at stake, considering how close we are to the conclusion of our efforts, I ask you again, why am I here? Let's go find out, I don't know, man. I did as I was told! Followed every order I was given! The facts suggest otherwise! You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Take it up with Minthora! She's the one who... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. That's true. Yeah, let's wait here for right now. Keep silent and keep watching. You ain't serious. You can't be. General Thorm. Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? We did as we were told! We're loyal to the Absolute! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the General how the goblins served our cause. Oh, I know how. Don't worry. Just kill them. They are worthless. It ain't true! We could as anyone! Just give us a chance! And there you have it. We are too close to the ending. And the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them, quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. I do like that idea. I'm going to kill them. They are goblins, and Edgerhill's not a fan of goblins. All of you know that. 
It was also a great chance to learn a bit about Thorn. I had no idea what he looked like, and right now we need to find a good way to destroy him. That other Thorn, he mentioned some person, a lady. We need to find her if we want to find out how to end him once and for all. Now thank you, I'm going to enjoy this. But instead, Edgerhill is going to nod curtly. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Yeah, you ain't gonna do anything drastic, are ya? We've been nothing but loyal! Yeah, that's a problem. It shall be trial by combat. If you wish to live, you must champion yourself in our pounded response. You serious? I don't stand a chance! Good. I don't mind. I truly do not. Now, Asterion, kill them. You know what to do. Actually, hold on, hold on. I would rather you attack in melee. You can't reach them, so shoot them then. You've got it. Wow, 43 damage. Overkill, huh? Edrahill, you can't move yet. That's okay. Go on. Oh, you can't reach him. That's fine, too. Could you move up? You can. Excellent. Now shoot again. Don't miss. For God's blessing. Not worth it, no. You're done for right now. Halston, it's your turn. 11 HP. That's not a lot. Let's jump in, can we? We can. Not close enough. I wish we could. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, there we go. Perfect. We can. Haha. <laughs> oh, goodbye to you. Enjoy being hit. 10 damage. I can't strike again, but that's okay. Your turn. It is. Edrahill. It's hammer time, my favorite time. It's over now. They've got what, some gold? But well, that's fine too. So now it's finally time to go into the prison. We've done so much as it currently stands. We could bring in Will. Might do that, I'll think about it. I'm not gonna talk to that advisor, not yet. And also, I wanna come back over here to trade. Then finally, we'll move into the prison. I brought Will back into the party, and I also wanted to change up our item composition. Andrew Hill, I got him to respec, so now he's got Polar Master, only because I was able to buy this off one of the merchants here. Halberd of Vigilance, Sentinel Weapon, gaining plus one bonus to initiative rolls and advantage on perception ability checks. Also we get, when you make an attack roll as a reaction, you make it with advantage. Plus two weapon enchantment, 10 to 25 damage, force damage too, which is pretty darn cool. I've also put on gloves of dexterity. Carlac had them for a long time, but we're going to use them for right now. Because I'm currently wearing her Yuan T scale mail. That gives to me a total AC of 20. I thought Edrahill, if he's planning a prison break, would like to be a bit more nimble. So here's our look. We actually have more AC, and we should be able to go maybe first in combat for once. That'll be really good. I've also put on the flawed held dusk helmet, magical durability, the wielder has a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells, a con saving throw of plus one. I won't wear it for long because maybe it could get me killed, but I have found over here a risky ring. You gain advantage on attack rolls and receive disadvantage on saving throws. Obviously I want to kill my foes quickly, if I do that I'll be okay. If we fight any guards, they'll need to be dead as soon as possible. Right now, Will is going to wear adamantine splint armor. Normally, I would keep it on, but the gloves I wanted to use with it, they were clipping. I mean, horribly so. And you know how I like to match. I mean, we see ourselves in a cutscene quite a bit. I don't want things to really look crazy. But I feel like right now, Edrahill looks like a deity. He's massive. He's glowing. He's a pure juggernaut. Oh, and we need to check out that weird sound. Whatever monster is up there, let's go find it. We know it's not a dragon. There's a bunch of mucus. 
It probably won't kill us. I mean, why would Thorn be here if there's some deadly creature that could threaten all of us? Or at least him. We're a true soul, so maybe it's got to do with a Mind Flayer thing, right? Z to jump. Very handy. I jump so much, I might as well have a hotkey. There we go. Way up. A cracked wall. Through a narrow crack in the wall, you hear something shift against stone. The pulse of a crawling, living thing. I don't like that. Let's determine what it is. An arcana roll. 1d4 from Shadowheart, like usual. A 3. I didn't make it. I have no idea what it is. You almost catch a glimpse. But the darkness within the wall is too deep. I'll reach in. There's only one way to find out. Your awareness unfolds, expanding through every wall in the tower, every mind. A vast living network extending down into the dark, where something wakes God what is it what now it's a trap tendrils snap like iron cords around your wrist that presence in your mind looms large closer now oh not today hentai tentacles not today we're gonna use strength to tear his arm out of the tentacles grip a DC of only 14 I'm not worried about that. Let's get out. With a soft sucking sound, your hand pulls free. The flesh within the wall retreats. I appreciate a wandering hand now and again, but maybe control your urges for now. I don't want to. I've made my choice. So now we know a little bit more about what's here. I certainly do not like that. Very well. Let's get back over to those stairs and finally go down into the prison. I am loath to see anyone behind bars. It reminds me of my time as a guest of the goblins. That reminds me. How in the nine hells could goblins capture a chap as well muscled as you? There were a lot of goblins, you know. I mean, a lot. More choice of companions, for one thing. Gladly rectified then since then. Besides, a large enough pack I? of scavengers can take down even the strongest of bears. No kidding. Alright, I only want a few more crates. You know what, Halson? Pick up a few too. All I know right now is that I want to block pathways. If I could slow down my foes, that would be a great thing. I mean, I could bring in a few barrels too. I'm not going to do that, but I want to. I truly, truly do. There's only a few more trunks I want to pick up. Then we'll talk to a few nearby guards. That trail of blood, it leads over to an adjacent room. Let's have a look inside. That's a really bad sign. I mean, that's a lot of blood. It's a torture chamber. Do we know anyone here? No. There's a scroll, I'll pick it up. Another one too. Oh, hold person. That could be really good right now. Any crowd control could save our lives. Oh, look at that viscera everywhere. Wow, two evil deep gnomes. Let's have a conversation, a brief one. A new face. Do as the warden says, when she says, and you'll be fine. I'll have to find her. Plant one foot in front of the other. Head forward. Back straight. Make them fear you. I'm going to kill you two. Not yet, but in time. There are many scrying eyes. We'll need to get rid of them all. Another guard. Uh, be a deer and strike me deaf. Our guests are especially sobby today. Man, you guys are jerks. Two more guards over here. Zira and Sereni. Must have been unworthy. All's well here. The cargo from below has already been taken to the docks. There's docks here. 
Yeah, we've got heavy oak doors. Maybe I'll go outside in a moment to scout around. No notes nearby? What do you have to say, Zira? Don't get too close to the prisoners. They're desperate enough to try anything. Yeah, I bet. They want to be free. Let's go outside for a moment. They weren't kidding. They've got docks. Let's talk to the guards. I mean, if we could lead our prisoners out like here, the maybe the they could easily get away. Acolyte Marls. I'm afraid you missed the ship, Trousseau. But there'll be another along soon enough. We're already stacking the cargo. Tell me about the cargo, too. Nothing of note. Just supplies for the battle ahead. I've already checked it twice over. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I'm not here to use a worm, no. But I'm going to use intimidation. Your job is to guard. Leave the details to me, yes? A DC of 14. We've got it, I hope. 25. We do. Uh, right you are, I suppose. Check away. You know, it's probably time for a battle right now. It's been a minute. We've got our enemies close by. Here's what I want to happen at the moment. I think I want to use a potion of speed. That would be really good. I'm so, ready. Shadowheart, move a little bit closer. Roughly right there. Now, Will, Sharp as ever. I want you to move down too. And I'm off. Right over here. Perfect. All right. Potion of speed. We'll give it over to Shadowheart. That'll do it. We'll exit our turn base mode. We'll have two enemies close by. Arden, Marls. There's two more. Bell, you're pretty far away. Here's another one. Renan. All right. Can't afford to stay idle. I think I know what I want you to do. Back to turn base mode. Drop your potion. And break it in just a moment. Yeah, we'll move right over here. I'm ready. Hopefully that'll be sufficient. Let's try it out. All right, so we hit who? Shadowheart, Will, Edrihill, but not Halson. That's okay, that should do. No time to rest. Edrihill, let's begin. It's probably about time. The pride of the gate. And what about you, Will? Let's He'll move up that. right over here. Perfect. Looking ahead. Time to kill. Let's go. <laughs> Goodbye, Marls. You were witnessed assaulting someone. You're headed for the cells. No, I don't believe so. Attack. I want to ensure that we've got every pathway cleared out, especially if we need to escape. Nelson, you're going to use, let's see, spike growth right over here. Do that. Enjoy Arden. Oh, look at all the spikes over here. It's very, very thorny. He didn't take a lot of damage, but he'll have to move through, which is a good thing for all of us. Now use Shillelagh. Perfect. I don't want everyone grouped up, so just move over here for right now. You're done. Choice but to keep going. Back over to Edrihill. I would like for you to take out our enemies. That one is a bit too weak. To Shadowheart, me. kill him. You've got it. 15 damage. I mean, she hits hard too, that's true. Let's move over. We could use our bow. We've got Sunbeam. Command. That could be really fun. But before I do that, Will, time. go blasting. You've got it. Will God's blessing. And they're gone. They don't know how to swim. What a shame. Let's use Hex too. Debuff your wisdom. Perfect. All right. Now, let's move over here. Right by Shadowheart. Shadowheart, use command, not halt, not grovel, but drop. Drop your weapon. Only a 40% chance to actually pass. Oh, that would be fun, but that's a low chance. I don't like it. You know what? Sacred Flame, keep it simple. Seven damage, debuff two from our radiating orb. Now you're done. Wait there. Time to push my Edrihill. Again. Let's move you a bit closer. Ooh, watch out. <laughs> watch out for now. Climb on. 
Perfect. Bring out your bow. Just keep on shooting. You've got it. 15 damage. It hits really hard. A miss. Try it again. 22 damage from a bow. 26. Paralyzing critical. Once per long rest, when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, you can paralyze the target for two turns. I would like to, but we're not going to do that. Not right now. So you're done attacking for the moment. Good. Bring out your melee weapon. Well, get back to blasting, buddy. Are they dead? They're dead. Only one enemy left. Good luck to them. Could they make it over here? Whoa, using Hunger of Hadar. Poor Halson. That's a lot of damage. But that's okay, too. Let's jump over. Oh, how far are you able to jump? There? That'll do. Yeah, you've got it, Edriel. I love his build. His items, his build, all of it. Keep on shooting. 13 damage. Another one. 14. <laughs> You're not done yet. 19. Another shot. 15. Concentration broken. That's what I wanted. Okay, Halston. You'll move over here too. It's very simple. Use your bow. 12 damage. I mean, truly, not bad. Only 2 HP left. Life comes easy these days. Now for Will. Will, if you could jump over here. Yeah, jump over here. We're That's about right to idea. finish up our battle. That was a clean run, too. That goes to show you how powerful haste can be. Later, Bell. You've been rung. Wait, hold on. You're alive. No, no, no. I don't believe so. Now I feel better. All of my enemies are gone. I could hide their bodies, but would anyone come out over here? I doubt that. Oh, hold on. For a moment, we were lethargic, but no longer. Do you have anything? A staff? Ugh. Not for me. A cat hole again. <laughs> Scroll of invisibility. Yeah, so I'll come back to loot everything here. I mean, every bit of it. Let's go have a look at that very strange crate. Right there. Man, we took out how many guards? Four? We took how much damage? Only six points of damage. Zentarum shipping crate. Yuck. Those guys are pretty darn evil. All right, Spike Growth, you're gone now. What's inside, I wonder? A wave of sick familiarity radiates from one barrel amidst the cargo. Tadpoles. Sleeping and scarcely aware, but echoing yours a hundredfold. Look at them all. Enough to infect an entire army. I hate that. Reach out. Tadpole to tadpole. DC 14. One D4 bonus. A 10. We didn't make it. That's unfortunate. We could get someone else to try. A mental churning as your interference stokes the tadpoles into a boiling frenzy. The connection snaps. That's okay. Goodbye, tadpoles. Got him. Wait. There's one trying to get away. <laughs> Not today, fool. Not today. Take it out. Dead. Well, now I feel really, really good. Parasite. Brimming with magic. Take it. Two more specimens over here. Okay. Smoke powder bombs. Grease bottle. Acid. The rest are dead. So oh, now we've me. prevented how many people from being infected. That's a lot of good done. Let's go back inside. We've got prisoners to save. Why am I drenched in blood? Don't worry about it. In fact, because of where we're at right now, it would be strange if we weren't drenched in blood. I did pick up a few more crates, only because I want to block the eyes here. If I do that, we'll probably be in a better position to do whatever we want. So if I can wait for every eye to move maybe to some corner, 
if I could box them in. That saves a lot of time. We've got cells over to our right. Some evil hellhole over to our left. Oh, look at that wall. The tentacle. They're here. The mind flayers are. They've got to be. All right. Oh, the tieflings. I found them. They're right over here. How many, though? We've got Lucrissa, Cal, Leah, and also Danis. Let me guess. The absolute is the only way. Don't bother. Why don't you and Zevlor take a long walk off a short cliff? What did Zevlor do? Now, listen, your brother Roland is alive. He's in Last Light Inn. He made it? He's all right? Your conversation has been cut short. These prisoners are for Disciple Balthazar's attention only. Listen here, funny hat. What are the prisoners going to do? Talk me to death? A DC of 14. Friends for advantage. 1d4 for a bonus. A 21. Your reasoning is hard to argue with. You're free to speak to the prisoners. Yeah, get out of here. Let's try again. You want to help? The gnomes couple cells down are up to something, and we're in. Sure. I'll go now. I could Misty step inside. Oh, there's a wall that we would be able to break. That's really good. Let's go talk to the gnomes. Then I'll probably spend some time blocking off exits. Or trying to take out eyes, too. Man, do I hate them. Oh, look who it is! Wolverine! Barkus Root has been looking for you for a very long time. You ordered that guard about as if you were the Absolute herself. What do you want with us, exactly? I'm here to help you escape. Huh. And why would you be so inclined? I've got many responses here, but let's use Oath of Vengeance. Helping you hurts the Absolute, and I take pleasure in that. Hold on now. <laughs> A DC of only six. I'll take it. 18. Remind me to stay on your good side. I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilburn. I'm Edrahill. Pleasure to meet you. We've got a plan. For us and the tieflings both. But we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools. That head case of a warden robbed ours. But anything that breaks rock will do. Even if it's not iron hand quality. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdor, make sure a guard doesn't see you. Or we're both done for. Understood. So, I could go to a merchant, maybe even look around, find a few maces, throw them in. Or, I could go visit the warden. We've got how many deep gnomes? Nimble, Wolverine, Nichols, and a wall over here. Okay. I'm beginning to understand what they want us to do. Let's continue to look around. Another scrying eye. There's a tower right in the middle. The warden has got to be there. What else do we have? Oh wait, hold on. Could we jump up here without getting in trouble? I do want to scout around. But let's wait to do that. <laughs> I'll wait to go there. All right. So my options are right now to go get those items just to play it safe. And if I can, I'll go visit and talk to the warden. In fact, I could do so right now. Yeah, the door is open. I thought it might be locked. It's not. Then my plan will go into motion. Where is she? There she is. Hmm. You spark of the familiar. Do I know you, Trousseau? Hmm. Perhaps not. Your face is rather bland. Regardless, know this. I am the Warden. The prisoners are my charges, and I answer to Disciple Balthazar himself. Stay on my good side. I don't know about that. Now, what about some Disciple? My. They are letting all sorts become a true soul these days. He is chief advisor to General Ketherick, and one of the Absolute's favored. His necromancy is second only to the General's. It is an honor to serve him. 
I bet it is. All right. You've got to take a lot of interesting things from prisoners. Indeed. But all are kept out of reach and under constant surveillance in the office above. Prison security is my highest priority. Are you sure? Man, you're kind of dumb. So, I'm looking for a particular prisoner. Duke Ravenguard. He sounds important. And I'm afraid the mere dregs are the only ones left in my care. Gotcha. Other tieflings, your own people, are in a cell. Aren't you bothered? Anyone who refutes the Absolute is an enemy of mine, Trousseau. You would do well to remember that. Sure, sure, sure. Alright, I'm leaving now. Let's have a look around. What do we have over here? Some information. Levers, too. That would be an easy way to get them out. Invasion plans, a wooden chest. Am I allowed to climb up there? I'm not too sure. Alright, it's time. I've got crates for days. We're gonna use them all. Goodbye, enemy of mine. Have a fun trip. That was part one of my plan. We've got one guard left, another scrying eye upstairs in that tower, and of course, the warden. I built a wall right over here just to keep out the scrying eyes. The one guard was able to jump through my wall, not over it, but through it, so she had to go. The only important part is that the eyes over here can't get to us. I don't need any alarms, not right now. I've also got hammers in my inventory in my backpack. I could give one over to Wolverin right now. I could even kill the warden, then after that, use levers to open up every single cell. But if I do that, I'm worried they might all try to get away through the front door. That isn't safe, so I won't allow it. Instead, it's time to take out the warden. I'm not going to be nice about it either. I was trying to lock her in. And actually, you know what? Let's keep her in there for just a minute. Let's move over here. I really didn't expect to change up my build for Edgerhill, but I did. And I love it so much. It feels very powerful. Zealot Naughty. Goodbye. It's time for you to die. War God's Blessing. Oh, look at that freeze frame. Moments before disaster. You're being arrested for assault. Judging by the look on this guard's face, you're getting off lightly. He's like, I always look like that. That's my face. Thank you. No, time for him to die. I'm not going anywhere, pal. Well, you know what to do. Bully him a little. Coming yeah, through. right over here. Perfect. Eldritch Blast. And him flying. A miss and a critical miss? Never mind, you can't do that. <laughs> End your turn. It'll be okay. Back Let's over go. to Edrahill. 25 damage. Another swing after that. A miss. One more. 23 damage. Not quite there, but we're getting closer. 17 HP. Shadowheart. End it. 14 damage, Divine Strike, Weapon Melee, 1 to 8 bludgeoning damage, 2 extra damage, another swing, and it's over. One more enemy gone. Guard's key, a Void Bulb over there, and we're good. Now for the Warden. Oh, I'm tired of her. I don't like her even a little bit, telling me I have a bland face. Edward's Hill. No, not him. Everyone loves him. Even people he barely talks to. Oh, hold I on. I'm a busy woman, true soul. What is it? Maybe she heard all of the noise. Huh. <laughs> you don't look very busy to me. That makes sense, true soul. You clearly don't know the meaning of the word. Oh, okay. I could push her off, but if she's got loot, I want it. I also want to find out where she's going. Over to one empty cell. Ha, huh, you idiot. No one's over there. Talking to Wolverine then. All comfortable, I hope. Delightful accommodation. You spoil us, Warden. Keep that wit. You'll need it, little Wolverine. The hells you call me? There it is. You act bold, but there is a weak temperamental child beneath the mask 
I see it. I see you. I bet you do. Branding Smite. I don't want you going anywhere, okay? Let's go get her. Turn base mode. That would make it a little bit easier. She's also trying to go over to, let's see, the tieflings. Fall by my hand. Got her. Witnessed assaulting someone. You're headed for the cells. I don't believe I'll do that. Attack again. The warden, she took a lot of damage. She had 124 HP. She's at 87 now. Well, so much Edriel, keep on striking. Never stop. Level 2 Divine Smite. A miss, unfortunately. We'll try again. Level 2. Don't miss. Come on. 24 damage. Oh! Hellish Rebuke. That was a decent amount of damage on your part. I know what I'll do about that. Hold on, hold on. A potion of speed for one. That's what I need. Let's take that right away. I've got how many left? Three left. Okay, good. Edriel, drink it. Perfect. Then, oh, Shadowheart. You can't go yet. All right, very well. I was hoping she would be able to silence her foe, but if you can't do that, that's okay too. What else could I do to her right now that would really mess her up? A polymorph? That could be good. I like the idea of using it. Heat metal. Disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Also very fun. Yeah, let's do it. Board damage. But disadvantage. It's a good one. Okay, Will. You've got a few options too. You could use your hunger of Hadar. That would really mess her up. It's pretty darn powerful. But let's hex her. Let's debuff her wisdom. Perfect. All right, we'll push her over here. And I want you to attack, but you got to get a little bit closer, okay? I could give you a potion of speed as well. Might as well to play it safe. Yeah, drink that. Well, if you can't drink that, that's fine. Let's give it back over to Shadowheart. Now blast away. Hold on, your daredevil proximity won't turn on. That's weird. That's what we need at the moment. Use a melee attack. A miss. You're done. You're done too. Still breathing. Back over to Edrahill. Keep on striking. Level two. And she's dead. Alright. The warden is no more. Let's pick up a spell crux amulet. Oh, and also drink a potion. Another one after that. Now we feel all better. What do you do? Spell slot restoration. Yeah, these items are really good. Replenish an expended spell slot of any level. Just keep it on you, put it on, use it, take it back off. I mean, that's going to save a lot of time for me. Keys to a potion of invisibility. Oh, that's really good. See, if she was able to act, maybe she would have had that potion, then would have gotten away. All right. Restore what? First level and second level spell slots. That's handy to have too. So Edrahill has laid out a bit more vengeance. The warden is dead. We just need to help out our friends, nice. but I'm gonna check out the tower. They've got probably a good bit of loot in here, I would imagine. I've got keys to use. Prisoner log, hold on. Let's have a look at that for just a moment. A list of prisoners who have passed through the dungeons of Moonrise Towers, okay. Feather light. Oh no, that disciple. We need to meet him. Yusuf, found dead, remained sent to kitchen. Another person, Tarasova, swore allegiance to the absolute, sent for subjugation. Only three more now Nimble, Nichols, and also Wolverin. They're safe. We have one traitor, though. I don't blame her, but if I find her, she's got to die, I think. Oh, hold on. There's one more scrying eye to take out. Turn base mode. Let's move right over here. I have an idea. Yeah, it should work out. I'll pick you up and I'll put you over here. Later. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. 
And we all leveled up. Holy crap. That's great. These are locked. I can't open them. I could break them open. But I'm always worried about damaging goods. You're going back to camp. Send to camp. Send to camp again. Wolverine's hammer should be up here. All right, prison key works. Brow beaten circlet. The wearer gains a plus one bonus to spell save DC while threatened. That could be pretty good. Yeah. All right. There's your hammer and an oil flask go back to the prisoners now we all get to level up 85 HP a new class feature a level 3 spell slot we've also got many new spells we'll go over them once I find ones I want to use elemental weapon okay remove curse revivify daylight crusaders mantle which I have blinding smite and over here, Warden of Vitality, a level 3 evocation spell. While this aura lasts, you can cast Restore Vitality as a bonus action to heal yourself or nearby allies. 2 to 12 healing. Nice. And we've got Haste. Oh, that's amazing. Protection from energy. Situational, but it could be handy. Especially if we're going into a fight, we know there's going to be a lot of magic. A level 3 fighter. Not for you, Will. I might tweak his build later, but not yet. Let's come over here to Warlock. Perfect. We're going to use Book of Ancient Secrets. You get Ray of Sickness, Chromatic Orb, and Silence 2. You're able to use them all once per long rest, and they don't use up a spell slot. Pretty handy in my view. I've got most of what I want and need. We're also going to pick up, let's see, Counter Spell. That's a really good one. Got to have it. Allison, our plant-like friend. 75 HP, a level five spell slot unlocked, and another level four one. Oh, level five spells, here we go. Here's one of my favorite spells. Insect Plague, 4 to 40 damage. They attack everyone within range. They make the area difficult terrain and impose disadvantage on perception checks. I love it. I'm going to use it. We've got a binding spell over here. All right. The target must be a celestial, an elemental, a fey, or a fiend. It could fight for us as an ally. That could be handy for later. And a wall of stone. Sometimes you just need another wall. Shadowheart, the level 9 war cleric. If you're sleeping on a cleric, you shouldn't be. Light, Tempest, War, they're all very good for different reasons. Light is so good as a blaster type of spellcaster. War cleric, especially if you use a lot of martial characters like I do, she's able to help out so much. And you saw in her previous part how she was able to solo entire groups. Level 5 spells. Okay. And another level 4 spell slot. 66 HP. What spell do I want you to pick up? You've got Flame Strike. 10 to 60 damage. Incredible. Let's hold on. Dispel Evil and Good. Contagion. Greater Restoration. Insect Plague. I know that I want to ensure that we prepare that one. All right. And another Binding Spell too. In addition to Mass Cure Wounds. Not that we need to use healing spells quite often. See, you don't need to heal nearly as much if you just output more damage. Kill your foes and you can't strike back. There's your hammer, Wolverine. Uh, this could work. We're gonna wait until it's quiet and then bust out the back wall. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. We'll need them if it comes to a fight. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody Moonrise will come down on us. I could wait here. That's true. I'm not going to. Wait here for right now. Hurry, or we're all dead. We've got to investigate. There's it's a wall. A easy to break down. It we're... leads into some other area. Wait, hold on. There's a boat? Who put a boat there? Damn straight. Huh. Without me, Let's move over to the left. Yeah, we'll jump up over here. I could use Misty's step. 
but not yet. I want to ensure that we have time to get everyone out without guards coming around. We could kill them easily, that's true. But they could kill a prisoner. We're trying to avoid that. What a massive area. I thought maybe we would have to go through a tunnel system. Not use a boat. Oh. Okay, skulls, blood. Torches, too. And more of that fleshy stuff. Oh, I hate it so much. That's curious. I'll come back for that dirt mound. Two gold, I'll take it right now. Oh, we could climb down. That's gonna be interesting. After we come back from the last light in, we'll go back down over here and investigate. Then we'll go back to the Moonrise Towers. I'm here to turn over every single rock. Here's a small area where we just need to jump. I could use spells to create a bit of difficult terrain in case guards come by, but we might be okay. Bring out your mall. Perfect. Alson, you'll move over to the other wall. We know there's two. We'll go right on around, right over here. Perfect. That might be worth a look. I'll come back for that one too. I wonder if the tower will know what I'm up to once we're done here. I hope not. One broken down. Let's get the other one. All done. Time to group back up. Let's make it over to the boat. Don't worry, Wolbrin. We've all got it here. Brittle chains. Let's break them. I've got that one. Now for the other one. How many more hits? One more for me. Boat's good to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. I do. I'll come with you. I know a place called The Last Light Inn. You'll be safe there. Safe? That's no small claim in these parts. Lead the damn way. Sure, I'll do that. Finally, we get to wash up. Drenched in our foe's blood. A common occurrence here. We saved everyone that we could. We didn't find the Grand Duke. We didn't find Zevlor. The tieflings are vague as to what he really did or what happened to him, but we're going to find out. We'll investigate. You drift through the dark until time, skill, or luck brings you to Last Light's dock. Hold there! You can't just land and start unloading strange. There's no procedures, damn it! No one gets in without being tested. Commander Jahira's orders. I do get it. I don't disagree. Go on. It. Form a line. Let's see if the Absolute's little pet recognizes any of you. The Absolute's what? What are you doing? Look, he only wants to see if you're infected. It's safe, I promise. If what you said is true, no one has anything to fear. If not, well, we'll soon find out. We've got to calm down. Now, form a line. I'll not ask again. This won't take long. No, it won't. If anyone is infected, we need to know. Folk hero breakout. A bit more inspiration for the entire group. That's great. Now we get to talk to so many different people. I wonder what I'll get. Krissa for sure. Is she safe? She's safe. I'm hoping everyone here is going to be okay. Let's talk to Lucrissa. These flame and fists don't take themselves half seriously, do they? Maybe not. This is a waste of time. I certainly don't have one. Everyone appears and to be clean and clear. Welcome to Last Light. Good. Now let's go have a few conversations. We're going to see a few teary reunions, I'm sure of it. At least one, maybe. I know that we saved Roland. He said he would come back to the inn, and he should be here. Hopefully, drinking. What a mad person. 
It would have been interesting if he could have joined us, but he chose not to. He's got a lot of pride. Which I get. Let me close that door. I'm pretty large. It's hard for me to get around. There he is. Right over here. And he's okay, too. Good. Hey, asshole. Roland. Oh, thank the gods. Did you enjoy relaxing here while I battled that wretched darkness? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, we got captured by murderous lunatics. I thought you were dead, you ass. Both of you. We're all safe, Roland. That's what matters. Very true. Let's see here. Roland was in a bad state without you two. I was just overwhelmed. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry. We should have been here. No, no, it's it's not your fault. I, I shouldn't have shouted. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me and the two idiots. But you are very welcome. Anything to add? No, we're not going to do that. Don't mention it. Humble too? Imagine that. He has no cause to be humble. He's brought us back together. A task I failed miserably at. You went out of your way to help us. It's only right you get something in return. Here. I hope it helps. It might. I don't know. Oh, gold. Okay. Yeah, that'll help. I was hoping for a magical item. But now they're all alive. Hopefully we'll see them in Baldur's Gate later. Who else do we need to talk to? Alfira? Where did she move off to? Ah, there we go. Perfect. You're here! You're alright! How? We're two tiefling queens, remember? I couldn't leave my favorite bard without her partner in crime. I did have some help from an old friend, though. How did you do it? Well, look at me. There's blood everywhere. We'll use our paladin response. Don't thank me. I had help from a higher power. That probably being me whenever I was jumping at my foes. I was really that higher power. <laughs> well, they're not the ones standing here, are they? You should have seen him. He was brave, but also terrifying. In a good way. Oh, I never thought I'd see... Well, anyone again. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. One last favor. Take this off my hands. It suits you better. Oh my god. Okay. She gave a lot over. A potent rogue. Gregarious caster. Your cantrips deal additional damage equal to your charisma modifier. Whoa. That's really good. Well liked and well fortified. At the beginning of the wearer's turn, the robe activates, granting them temporary hit points equal to their charisma modifier. AC plus one. That is one good item. I wonder who's going to use it. We've got free scrolls, potions two, gold. She had a lot, especially compared to Roland. Roland only gave us gold. Alright, now for Barkus Roots. Wait, hold on. Wolverine, you're not here to say hi? We'll chat anyway. Ah, there you are. Everyone seems to be quite a flutter. Do you know why? Yeah, haven't you heard? I freed the people being held in Moonrise Towers. You... you did? But, but that means... Wolverine! Wolverine! Where is he? Yeah, I don't know. Did he leave already? He might have. Oh, oh he's over here. Okay. <laughs> Look, they're very small. I didn't see them. Wolverine! Ah, uh, I heard you might be about. How the devil did you get stuck here, Barkas? <laughs> I'm not stuck. I came to find you, of course. Why would you do a foolish thing like that? Really, Barkas? Unfortunately for me, you're my friend. 
Rescuing you from mortal peril is my right. Oh, but you didn't rescue me, did you? I rescued myself with the aid of this helper. Ah, it's you. I should have guessed. Thank you very much for your help finding Wolbrin. You don't belong here, Barkus. As soon as the way is clear, pack up and head to Baldur's Gate. But... Wolbrin... The rune powder... We need to discuss what you're going to... I said go home! You're kidding me. Oh, I don't like him at all. You don't know what Barkus has gone through to find you. Me too. Please, that, that isn't necessary. Indeed. Neither of you has any clue what's at stake. A and why should you? It's Iron Hand Gnome business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a great deal to do. Well, there we have it. Walbrin is safe and sound. Thanks to you. I owe you a great deal. The brilliant retort, for starters. Here you are. As promised, I give you the brilliant retort. Now, I believe our business is well and truly concluded. I really do wish she could become some banner of companion. We've met so many characters where I would love for them to join us. You don't owe me anything, Barkus. Auburn does. One and the same. Okay, you know what? You really care about him, don't you? Uh, well, uh, once you're used to someone, you're used to them. I bet. What are you going to do now? Well, uh, perhaps Wilbrin is right. Perhaps I ought to return to, to Boulder's Gate. Well, you can't do that right now. It's very dangerous out there, trust me. Oh, that's all right. I'm a patient fellow. I'm, I'm sure you'll clear a path for everyone, soon enough. In time, sure. Man, that poor guy. So here's a new item. Brilliant Retort, 12 to 21 damage. All the bang and the boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. Okay. I wonder if I'll be able to get more, I don't know. Oh, there's another tiefling we need to talk to. I was looking for you two. Don't hide over here. No, I totally get it. They want to have a bit of time alone, which is understandable. But I'm going to interrupt it and say hello. We're not terrifying to look at, are we? We might I be. need a hug. Me too, buddy. <laughs> you're all right. My gods, you're all right. Come here, darling. A beautiful moment. Is it back to me now? I need to know. It is. All right, Edrahill, he's going to smile and say internally, not to them, they look so happy. I was so scared I'd lost you. Me too. But we're here now. Safe. Very, very safe. For the moment. It's wonderful to see you two back together. <laughs> Credit where it's due. Bex, this is the one who helped me and the others escape. This isn't the first time you've helped us. Saved our lives, really. Why? Don't question it. You were in trouble. I wanted to help. Simple as. You make it sound so easy. But I know the lengths you've gone to on our behalf. We'll never forget it. Never, ever. Here. Take these for the road. It's the least I can do. Well, thank you. So, You're very kind. Shall what we did you go give me, though? I want to know. Anywhere, Maybe a bit of gold? I go. Doesn't really matter right now. Go. We're about to go back to the camp. But before I even do that, let's talk to Jahira. I'm also going to tweak Halston's build a little bit. I want to give him more wisdom. I just want to ensure that he's able to make his spell saves. I've not used Wild Shape too much, largely because... Edgerhill has been the focus lately. Edgerhill, Shadowheart 2. Will, Allison over here, they're supportive. They do help out a lot, but think about how hard Edgerhill hits. 
When he hits people, they don't get back up. There's Shahira. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. Well, thank you. I saw Catherick. He regenerated before my eyes. Gruesome, isn't it? I'm glad you survived the encounter, at least. Did you learn anything more? Not really, no. I don't believe so. But he is calling himself a Chosen of the Absolute now. Chosen? Oh, that's three masters Catherick has served. Our paladin isn't very picky. He's aligned himself with mind flares. But I cannot see what he gains. Perhaps we can force it out of him once we have him up against a wall. Was there anything else? I don't know, really. I could ask her a few questions, but let's go back in. Not yet. Parts of the towers aren't open to me yet. The great general is paranoid. Good. That means he's protecting something. I'll wager it's the source of his invulnerability. He'd protect that at any cost. Was there anything else? That is true. No. We'll go back to camp. We'll have a long rest. Just to see if we get any new events. Then we'll head back out. A bit of a respite never hurt anybody. Well, provided no one else is killed while we're resting. But we do so much, I feel inclined to take a break. There's Shadowheart. These lands may not be under the thrall of Lady Shah for much longer. No matter. She wishes for Kethric Thorn to be punished. Her darkness was a blessing offered before he betrayed her. She can redirect her powers elsewhere once he is cast down. Okay, sure. Now, what do you make of him, now that we've seen him in the flesh? He's trouble. Worse, he's a traitor. Whatever loyalty he had towards Lady Shah is long gone. It would please her greatly to see him meet his long overdue end, I'll wager. Maybe so. Let's go for right now. We'll go talk to Gel, who actually does have something to say. I don't know what. Oh, buddy, your campsite is really bad. Actually, we'll talk to him in just a moment. First Will, then Halson, then Gel. Well met. Well met. Any idea where we might find your father? <laughs> Not in a mere prison cell, certainly. My guess, Thorn will have confined him in the bowels of the tower. The deeper we dig, the closer we get. We know how to go deeper. We could do that. And Halson. Oakfather preserve you. Hopefully so. Let's have a look over here. What happened before, when the Shadow Curse was unleashed? Druids and Harpers joined together to put a stop to Ketherick Thorm. We marched on Moonrise, and after much fighting, we prevailed. Even in defeat, though, Ketherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, the Shadow Curse took hold. No one had seen the likes of it before. No one knew how to react. Then it started to claim all those within its reach. Those who had survived the battles now fell to the shadows, became part of the shadows. And worst of all, I lost contact with Thaniel. Pretty bad then. I wanted to try and find him, but we couldn't stay. We would have all succumbed. When the Archdruid of the Grove, my predecessor, was seized by the curse, I had to lead the survivors to safety. That was my first day as Archdruid. An inauspicious beginning. No kidding. Now, it sounds like you did what you had to and saved many lives. You are right, but I must not lose focus until everything has been put right. I've wasted too much time already. Years in which nature has suffered. No kidding. I'll go for right now. Finally, our wizard. Let's have a chat with him for just a moment. Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. I was wondering what was going on. 
I thought to myself, did he always glow like that? Maybe not. On behalf of Gale, you're not him? You are speaking to a mere projection of Gale. His appearance, his voice, and a certain measure of his personality, reconstituted in this case to play as emissary and usher. Would you care to join him? What little I could glean from the portion of his mind that is open to me, it is a matter most urgent. I mean, I've got to. He's a living, ticking time bomb. Show me the way. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path, and soon you will find him. Oh, thank you. Okay. Let's have a long rest. It's about time. That looks to be about right. Typical gal. I love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. When you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. Andrew Hill doesn't have a very high intelligence score. He's just a really good guy. He does a lot for other people, but he's currently with Shadowheart, and no one's really respecting that. Not Will. Now, not Gail. <laughs> Why did you summon me here? I wanted to see you. While I still could. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of beauty and wonder. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. We're not going to let you die, though, okay? Let's continue to have a conversation. He's a good buddy of mine. It's not romantic, it's platonic. Let's have a look here. Is that truly what you want? To die for the promise of Mistress Forgiveness? Babe or crone. Coward or hero, death is assured. Mistra's forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it. On my own terms. I suppose it does provide some measure of comfort to believe what he does. Nothing is inevitable. Not when we face it together. You don't have to die. Yes. But there is so much to live for and so few moments in which to house it all. Damn you. Damn you for giving me so much to care about. Our friends... Our adventures. <laughs> this would have been so much easier if it was just me. But it isn't. If there is a way, any way, to save all that's grown dear to me, I want to cease it. I just cannot fathom what that might be other than to fail Mistra and condemn the world. Stay with me, will you? I don't want to think of it anymore, but I don't want to be alone either. I do understand. I do. We're just going to watch stars right now. That's it. I do hope in the future we do see a bit more of a focus on truly deep friendships. Those who are so very close. It doesn't have to be romantic, but you have strong ties together. You love that person like a brother, a sister, whatever. Here we go. We'll stay with him. If only we could sit a little bit further away... It's like he first sat down and went, oh crap, too close, but didn't want to make it weird. So he's kind of stuck there. 
And who would want to miss out on that, right? Also, he might die at any moment, so we'll be there. And I get to meditate now. Good for me. Andrew Hill and the party have come back to the prison. No one questioned what they were doing back, and we've had no issues so far. Oh, by the way, Lump's Warhorn, it won't work here. So eventually, we'll need to go back to our other lands and call them. I'm not here to have them help me fight. Instead, I'm probably just going to kill them outright. That's it, really. Those ogres killed some innocents, so they've got to die too. My beautiful wall. That's alright. You served your purpose, now you get to rest in pieces. Perfect. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Moving on through. We could go through these two pathways. Oh, no, wait, there they are. A scrying eye. Here's another one. It's not bothering me. Good. But I don't know about any guards over there. That's why we've got to just be a little bit more careful, I suppose. Largely because I don't know if they're alerted, if the upstairs will know. If those who are just way up there, chilling out, if they would come down to fight me or if I would be considered hostile. So I'll play it a little safe. They didn't actually see us get out. That's a good thing. And down we go now. Oh, we've had elixirs of hill giant strength. One for Will, Halson, Shadowheart 2. But we have a special elixir over here for Edrahill. Cloud giant strength, 27 strength total. He's going to hit everyone in combat. Halberd of Vigilance, a very good item to use. Plus 15 to his chance to hit. 11 to 20 damage, not counting everything else. Let's go have a bit of fun with whatever evil is down here. They truly do need a new interior decorator. Piles of bodies over to the left, fleshy walls. It's not for me. How Let's move up now. I thought I heard something. I don't know what, though. Let's just see inside. Hold on. Hook horrors. Let's move over to the right if we can. Perfect. We'll try to hit that one creature right here. Let's do it. Let's go. No time for mercy. A near guaranteed hit. Good job, Edrahill. Let's strike again. We're not done. All right. Now you're done, but only for right now. That's okay. End your turn? I'm kidding. Don't do that. That would be a bad idea. Instead, let's have Shadowheart move over here to the left. Halson, I want you to do something. I want you to transform your shape, but don't do that yet. Will? Wait here, okay? Right over here. He's currently wearing that robe that we got. I just want to see how much damage his cantrip will be able to do. Repelling Blast? Do I want that right now? Sure, why not? But before we do that, we've got to use a Hex. Yeah, a Charisma one. Sure, why not? Let's make it happen. You've joined the battle. Now go Blasting. Look at that damage. Whoa, 7 HP left. That's really good. Action Surge. Do it again. Blast it away. Hit that one and the other creature too. Perfect. A double blast. He hits so hard. Unfortunately, our friends were seen. But that's okay, really. I don't really mind. We'll come over here and use... No, I can't use it on Shadow Hard. I do have a scroll of hold monster. Let's try that one. A high chance to land. And you're stuck, you fool. <laughs> wild shape time? Yeah, wild shape time. Let's turn into a saber toothed tiger. Nice. That should hurt our foes quite a bit. And let's see, we should be safe just to move on. Yeah. Let's come over here. We'll act a bit later. We are currently right by it. There's a dirt mound too. I can't even catch my breath. We're all done at the moment. Well, actually, Edrahill, jump over here. There he is. He's like a dragoon, no which is pretty darn cool. Coming through. Another hex? Oh, absolutely. Hex away. They've been surprised too. I'm glad we saw that creature, or that could have been a pain. Not because they're truly difficult, but. I don't want them to surprise us. 
Nor do I want to take too much damage at the moment because look at where we're at. There could be some crazy evil down here. Critical hit again. One more after that. Edrahill, you've turned into a true hero. What a monster of war. Can't slow down. Let's have a look at the map in just a moment. Everyone, make sure that you're grouped back up. Oh, look at all that blood. A blood pool. Not really an amenity that I would want, but to each their own. Do I have to walk through it? I could jump over place? here. I'll do that. That's a good question. That big hole must be right above us. An illithid oubliette. Right beneath the towers. The colony must be close. That must be where the tadpoles are coming from. A colony? Well, we need to be here. We need to get rid of all of them if we can. There's a dead person, a zealot. Anyone else? You've got what? A specimen. There's one. We might give it to Asterion or Gale. It really depends. Boy, what a terrible place. Let's have a look. All right, so I keep on moving up over here, and eventually I'll run into something, I suppose. It might be a dead end. We'll see in a moment. No, there's no way to move on from here. A goblin, a dead goblin. I like him. Well, thank you for the gold. Time to go again. Oh, I wonder how you died. I could have a conversation with you or try to, but you probably wouldn't have much to say. I wonder if all the pilgrims are sent here. If so, that's terrible. Wait, oh, look over there. On the other side. No way through from here, though. Okay, we'll be back. I wonder if I can misty step over there. Not that I should. If I'm not meant to be there right now, then I shouldn't go over there. It might cause issues with a quest line or whatever else. But because I'm curious, I could. <laughs> I don't know if I could easily get back. I wouldn't be able to go back to camp. Look at the minimap over here. It's red. It's a hostile area. All right, we'll go back over to the tower and continue to investigate. The prison was pretty bad, but it didn't really compare to what we saw below. What a nightmare. Truly in the mouth of madness. And now we get to go upstairs to talk to Zarel. We've got to find a way to beat Thorm. We don't know how to just yet, but one thing I do know about all the true souls here, or whatever followers they have, they love to talk. We just need to pry a little. We've got a locked door, a library. Okay, I can't go in that room. Ah, there you are. Radija, Mistress of Souls. What a title. And there she is, Zarel. Let's go say hi. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. Tongues of psychic flame lap at the memory of the goblins dying by your hand. I see you like to handle underlings physically. So do I. Oh no. The crime of being beautiful, Edrahill. Everyone comes on to you. A waste of my time. I didn't come here to clean up other people's mistakes. Your confidence is delicious. I can see why the Absolute might be hungry to dig deeper into that mind of yours. I certainly am. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. I bet. Distract her with thoughts of your care for Shadowheart and Persuasion roll. A DC of 14? I gave guidance over to Halson too, in case for whatever reason we don't have Shadowheart here. An advantage from friends, and we're ready now. 
28. We care a lot. You took pity on one of Shah's sorry little followers. Or was it genuine affection? Let's take a closer look. With the Absolute, your fantasies can become more real than flesh. The pleasures of the mind can surpass those of the body. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. I bet. Show me the power she gave you. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. That's a problem. But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorn. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. It wouldn't be in our nature to play along. Edrahel wouldn't kowtow over to the ruler of the Geth, so why her? Let's ask a question first. Is it true that General Thorm is invulnerable? Indeed. The Absolute's love for him has made him more than mortal. He is unstoppable. Gotcha. And why should I serve him? You feel her presence in your head again. She grips your mind, squeezing until your vision blurs with pain. The General is the Absolute's chosen. Serving him is a great privilege, one that I'm beginning to doubt you deserve. She's offering a way forward. You would be wise to play along. All right, I'm sorry. What do I need to do? There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Sure. But what if he's dead? Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. Okay. Now tell me about that relic. It is something that General Thorm desires and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. She's suddenly nervous, on edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. All right. Talking of this relic makes you anxious. Why? A DC of 18. That's a lot higher. Let's try. A nat 20. Tell me everything. I am in awe of the power the relic must hold to be of such importance. General Thorne will not leave Moonrise without it. I do believe that fellow that we need to find is a necromancer. Because he's a wizard, we should probably go get Gel. I'll do that right after. And you also said that you lost contact. What do you mean? And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Hardly a surprise. We're protected here, but outside the shadows are hungry. Very hungry. The relic is vital to Catherick's plans. You should be giving me more support. Fine. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. Tell him he's to share my secret stash with you. Oh, heck yeah. Well, I'm ready to move out now. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. I get it. I get it. Let's go back to camp. We'll go pick up our wizard, talk to Radija, then head into that room. Of course, Gail wants to chat again. I was hoping to speak to you, as a matter of fact. About the night you were kind enough to keep this melancholy wizard company. Fair and true. Go on. I wanted to... 
to thank you. I was sinking into a dark place. But you reminded me there is still light in the world, and I should care to look for it. You... You may well have prevented me from doing something very rash in the near future. I count myself lucky to call you a friend. Yeah, no problem. Any time. Hmm, careful. I may just take you up on that. Join me, why don't you? It's time. With pleasure. Lead on. Alright. A new level for our good buddy. Let's check it out. We've got so many elemental themed items. I'm going to try to build a gale based around frost damage. I thought that could be pretty interesting. I've got plenty for fire as well, but for now, let's keep it cool. He's got over here boots that have so many good benefits, but it also won't allow him to slip on ice. That would be very good for his build. 65 HP, a level 5 spell slot. We're going to learn Cone of Cold and also Conjure Elemental. Because we're now at level 5 spells, I'll be able to learn from so many new scrolls. That means we don't really need to worry about what we're going to learn right now. Just because we're going to be able to learn them from a scroll anyway. Sure, it won't be cheap, but we're going to be okay. And as a reminder, Gel is still currently a divination wizard. He controls the future. It's quite nice. Before we go to that necromancer's room, let's have a look at Gel. He's got a snowburst ring. When the wearer deals cold damage, they also create a 4.5 meter circle of ice around the target or targets. One ice bite robe. Not really needed, but I thought it was rather thematic. Grants resistance to cold damage. And a free casting of Armor of Agathis. That could be handy. Down here, we've got Winter's Clutches. When the wearer deals cold damage, inflict two turns of Encrusted with Frost upon the target. Let's have a look at that. They've got disadvantage on deck saving throws. When there are seven or more turns remaining, that creature or person They've got to pass a con saving throw or take 1 to 4 cold damage and become frozen. Nice. Removed by burning. And down over here we've got Morning Frost. Dealing cold damage with a spell possibly inflicts chilled upon the target. When dealing cold damage, the wielder deals an additional 1 cold damage. We're all about chilling people out. For Halson over here, I gave him a staff. Melf's first staff. Plus one to spell save DC and also spell attack rolls. He's got a spell save DC now of plus 20 or 20 total and a spell attack of plus 10. That's incredibly good for him. He's going to hit everyone, which is my goal. We are playing on tactician, so our foes are a little bit harder to hit. Now it's time to move into a necromancer's room. Well, Not a thing you ever want to do. And because we're going there, we're going to bring a wizard. Another step. What I do know about life is that if you have a friend who is knowledgeable in a certain field, you're going into some evil room where their knowledge might overlap, bring them. Perfect. Okay, you need an army of housekeepers. That's got to smell disgusting, really. Let's have a look around. We do need to be careful. We were warned. There's one dead body. You've got a heart. Good to know. Viscera. Another heart. Another heart on the table, too, in personal notes. Let's check it out. Install a drain beneath the library's conventional medicine shelf. Oh, okay. Not really good to know. Here's a moon lantern. We don't need it, but we've got it. And a heavy chest. You know what? I'll send it back to camp. That's what I want to do. The Styrian could use a bit of work, I think. What else do we have over here? Another shard. Pick it up. Oh, and a disc. We'll give it to Lazelle. She needs to know. Another one of those Gip Yankee discs. I should talk to Lazelle. Sure. Let's keep on looking around. A telescope. Maybe we'll be able to see something. I spy with my little eye. Yeah. Nothing of note, really. Oh, kind of a bummer. Okay. Let's move on then. What else do we have over here? A lever. Huh. That might be worth a look. Oh. And also protruding books. Wait, hold on. Look at the floor. There's a trap here. So we've got to be careful. I might have the entire party just wait over here while Edgerhill pokes around a little bit. Let's have a look outside in just a moment. 
alchemical ingredients. Good. More. And more personal notes, too. Any works by Morta Cannon. Let's catch up on current events. No Volo. Better a century of ignorance. Damn. Poor Volo. I mean, he's not wrong. Here's a charred prayer book. My dark goddess. When I lost my daughter, I learned my purpose. My dark goddess. When I learned my purpose, I gathered the flock. Jeez, okay. Well, where are we now? Right by the front gate. Guards, ghouls too. They did mention some manner of flying creature above us. We've got to be mindful. We could jump up to investigate, but I don't want to be near Thorm. Not right now. We can't kill him. Another locked door. I don't want to go inside. The guards would attack me. Instead, hold on. Let's have a look at our map for just a moment. There's only a few more rooms I need to investigate, at least on the floor that we're on right now. Andrew Hill wouldn't want to put his party in harm's way. All of you wait back over here. We've got four protruding books. Which one do we pick? Let's try that one. Oh, zombies, okay. All right, only two of them. Let's begin. Not bad. Hold on. Shed a heart move up. Don't forget, they do have undead fortitude. Unless you hit them with a crit or radiant damage, they'll come back up with one HP. Another strike. One more. Well, two more. Halson, why don't you use a good thorn whip? It can't dodge you. If it could, I'll give up. There, it's over. All of you, move back again. Let's try this way. That was only stage one. Enter Hill. Stayed interesting. Let's pick another one. I don't like the idea of a spike trap. Maybe if we're right here, we'll be okay. Which book to try? Let's see, let's try that one. A click. It wasn't a bomb. That's good. I've got to put something inside. All right, let's have a look at it. It's an altar. Usually you've got like what, bones or blood or people on an altar. We are in a necromancer's room. It's got a strange tip, huh? And usually what we know as of right now is that whenever you've got something really cropping up in a room, it's probably a clue. We don't normally see hearts everywhere, but here they are everywhere. Let's try that. I'll put one in my pocket. I don't want to, but I've got to. All right, heart, you go right over here. Secrets of the Necromancer, Gale is inspired. Well, that's good. And here's a secret room too. So what do we have? Research notes. I have directed some materials from beneath the tower. I plan to simply raise what forces I need inside the mausoleum itself, but the general prefers that no more of his family crypts be disturbed. Even so, I may have no choice. The temple will not surrender the night song easily, and the general's invulnerability depends on it. Oh, those two are linked. This night song sounds like the source of Ketherick's immortality. Here's I another think. locked chest not too. The first thing you'd think to call an artifact of the absolute. I think not. No. Perhaps there is a way to turn it against Ketherick Thorm. Do you hope so? First, we have to find it. And I suspect he keeps it very, very well. I do believe that. It is very well hidden. All right, that chest, it'll go back to camp. Asterion will open it up. Over here, what do we have? The necromancer was experimenting on the tadpoles. No kidding, huh? But they were already imbued with Netherys magic. So where did that magic come from? goblet filled with the mutilated corpses of illithid parasites. Whatever ungodly experiments were performed on them likely killed them. And over here, we've got some strange symbol. A circle, okay. Dead pixies too. And broken moon lanterns. Let's have a look. It appears to be quite evil for sure. 
Carved into the bench's rotted surface are strange, half-faded sigils. A magic circle of some kind, thick with darkness and decay. A ritual circle. And a complex one at that. I've seen such a construction before in the writings of the Weave Pasha of Alm Raven, though his vision was not so... tainted. Interesting. What is it for? The sigils are written in a curious mix of tongues. Ancient Kalashite, Netherese, something else I can't quite make out. If I'm reading it correctly, it was used in the creation of moon lanterns. It's been mostly drained, but even now contains a powerful dose of shadow weave. The discarded pixie corpses might still contain enough essence. With one of the broken lantern casements. Yes, I think I'll be able to craft one more lantern. And with a slight modification of the casting gesture, it might be able to wield the shadows instead of repelling them. Though, Mistress' eyes may be upon me. It should forbid me dabbling with such magic. She'd want it destroyed. Wasted, arguably. Forget what Mistra wants. Think about yourself. And what Lady Shah's power could do for you, Gale. Make the lantern. Spread her will. I don't want to do that, no. You know what? We've got to destroy it. I'm not about Shar. The Shadow Weave is not for me. Take care of it right now, Gale. Some room then, if you please. It doesn't take much. The sigils fade. The circle's tainted magic dissolving harmlessly into the ether. Not bad for a wizard who slept through his Kalashite lessons, eh? Hey, you did it, I assume. Are we done here for now? I suppose we are. Never There's not much more path. to look at. Wait, hold on. Gal wants to chat. Did you feel that? I wasn't surrounded on all sides by the darkness of the shadow cursed lands. I'd think it was Mistra herself brushing against my skin. I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. I had no idea you were so insensitive. No. Don't feel disheartened. Very few are capable of attuning themselves to what I just experienced. The state of affairs Mistra prefers, in all honesty. She's left some tiny part of herself to watch over me, I think. A boon to help us reach the heart of the Absolute in one piece. That's fair. Given all we're up against, I'm grateful for the help. Strange, though, that she would reward me for such a service now. She's hardly been forthcoming on that front since my banishment. Ah, perhaps I'm overthinking things. A blessing's a blessing. And this one should come in most useful. What are you talking about? I actually have no idea. Let's have a look no at Gal. Not around, so oh, here we go. Mistress Benevolence. Gal has advantage to concentration checks. That's really good. Hey, good for you. Okay. I wish I had it, but you've got it. That's fine. Need to find a way forward. Now we need to go look for that disciple, that necromancer. We're finally able to leave. We've been here for a minute. Just need to move where? Way up over here. Which means also talking to Raphael who was close by. Let's go. If it's a mausoleum, we might need someone who's able to pick a lock or two. So Asterion's gonna join us. He's got his jobs back at home, but for now we need him here. Halston is gonna take a break. We are gonna have Will because I want a lot more spellcasting on my team. And I've got some new armor too. Remember how Zarel was able to enable us to access her private stash? I bought two items. Dwarven Splint Mel for number one. Superior Plate. You take one less piercing damage. Body Aid. Gaining plus one bonus to strength saving throws and checks. But more importantly, have a look here. Constitution plus two. That puts Edrahill up to 18 total. That's really good. And I also bought Berlazel, or I suppose Will, Gauntlets of Surging Accuracy. When you use Action Surge, Gaining 1d4 bonus to attack rolls for the rest of your turn. That's really good. So, let's have a look now. We've got to go into the mausoleum. 
which means talking to Raphael. We saw him earlier when we came by. I wonder what he wants now. He's not going inside for some strange reason, I'm sure. Our hero thought but of treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark, he went creeping and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which he himself fed. Interesting. A warning, no less. Don't tell me you're worried about me. Merely protecting my assets. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. Oh, I'm sure. I can handle myself, Raphael. <laughs> Intrepid as ever. It would be pointless of me to try to buy you from entering. But I can... set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. Oh, I bet you can. Fine. Paint me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Okay, hold on. We're gonna use persuasion. Could you paint me a clear picture? Come on. A DC of 10, we've got our bonus. But what about second bonus? There we go. 21. Let's move on. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, You'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. You really, really hate them. You know, we could use our paladin response, but we're also a hunter too. Let's try insight. You're still only telling me half of what you really know. I can tell. A DC of 10. A 19. You better tell me more. This creature and I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? I should not relish its reacquaintance. Let's leave it at that. Sure, okay. I could call him out, but let's keep it curt here. Let's keep it simple. Fair enough. You have it in you to author a thrilling finale if... If you heed this warning, do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. Wait. Before you go, I have a proposal of my own. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. It's something of great importance to your master. But is it a love letter? A warning? Or a deed of ownership? I can give you all the gory details. And I will. Once the beast that lurks below is vanquished and sent back to the hell. Okay. Hold on. Asterion, what scars do you have? You haven't told them. And you've kept your clothes on this whole time. How unlike you. Why not let them see? 
Don't be shy. God damn it. Whoa. Don't pout, Spawn. Just destroy the beast, and I'll happily reveal your secrets instead of your skin. Yes, fine. We'll kill this damn creature of yours. Then we have an understanding. I look forward to our next meeting. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. Well, now you know. Okay, I'm not gonna call him out for it. His reasons are his own. I'm not here to push him too much. But gods, the carving must have been excruciating. Cazador worked on it from dusk until dawn, all with an ancient blade he called his needle. <laughs> Cutting and tearing, starting over if I screamed or winced too much. It was a rough night. But what's done is done. So how about we stop discussing it and just kill this beast? Although I should probably get dressed first. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, so we have learned a lot. I wonder, we've got Gel, we've got Asterion, Shadowheart too. We should have all the tools we need to handle what's inside. What that might be, I don't know. But we're gonna find out. Before we do so, I might go back to our older lands, even the Underdark, for just a moment, only a moment, because I can't use Lum's Warhorn way over here. It would be a waste to really leave that stone unturned. I'll try it now. If they show up, that's great. I'm far beyond ogre ears. Right. Let's go take care of that, then we'll come back. I told you a long time ago that Edrahill would kill them. They killed and probably ate many tieflings. Who knows who else? I was trying to think of a good location to take the ogres. It all comes back to the Blighted Village. We spent so much time here, just as a central access point to everything that we had to do around the area. Let's now sound the Warhorn. I was going to bring them over to my Kuatoa followers, but I don't want them to be attacked. Food. Yeah, food. Stop your belly, brother. The feast speak. The deal is done. Shall we extend our contract? You've done nothing. No. I'm here to kill you. It's time. But let's call him out for it. You didn't even kill anyone. You summon. You pay. That's the bargain. Interesting. Okay, okay. We're done for right now. Without so much as a lick of that mouth-watering meat of yours. I knew it. Not even a lick. A pity for us both. Until later. Hold on. <laughs> there is no later. There is only now. Goodbye. There it is. We're gonna beat them all. Oh, they rolled very well for initiative. I don't like that. Which means we've got to be careful. Asterion, you know what to do. Attack away. Get chalk. Not bad. Not a bad hit at all. A dread ambusher. Melee. I'll try that one. I've turned him into a Gloomstalker Ranger and also a Rogue. I'll show off his build later on. Right now, we just need to live. A Vampire Bite? That could be fun. We could attack right over here using another Ensnaring Strike. Let's do it. 11 damage. A Vampire Bite. He needs a snack too. Only 3 HP left. Not bad, you're done. Choice but to keep going. And over here, let's go after Lump. Oh, Lump. I'm gonna have you hopefully knocked prone. That's my goal. Level one. Oh, you made it. 
Let's try a lacerate too. Let's make him bleed. Okay, he's gone now. Good. What about the rest of you? I've got to wait. What a shame. I was hoping to kill them now. Alright. One more gone. <laughs> nice work. Ray of Frost. You've got it, Gale. 14. Huh. That's fine. Just wait there. Do not be attacked. Shadowheart, you'll move in too. It's very simple. Divine Strike? No. You're not really worth it, are you? Another attack after that. 18 damage. She hits hard. She hits very hard. They're done for right now. Back to Fink. A slam, huh? Try it. You rolled a 23? No, you rolled a good 9. Nice work. They were sent reeling too. Let's go back to Asterion. Perfect. One more attack if you don't mind. I would like that. A level 1 spell slot. I don't want to use them all up. So just attack. And we're done. Finally, vengeance. Yeah, they ate a tiefling. Edrahill didn't forget. We've also got a warped headband of intellect. Which means we could have a decent intelligence too. Do we need that all the time? No, we don't. However, we could use it for sure. Look at my intelligence. Only eight. Now I feel very, very bright. Not bad, right? 17 intelligence. We're going to have plus 5 to saving throws. That's pretty nice to have. What else would we have? I suppose a few better skills too. Arcana, history, investigation. Think about how many roles we have failed because he doesn't have high intelligence. From time to time, I'll put it on. Especially if I think we're investigating. For combat, I'll put on my other helmet. That's a good call, I think. But now, I think we're good. Let's have a look at Asterion. Let's go over here and just look at him. Alright, his build? Quite simple. Level 5 Ranger, a Gloom Stalker, and a level 4 Rogue at the moment. Multiclassing for me is only viable, again for me, once we get to a certain level. You want your class to turn online, otherwise I like just monoclassing. In some classes I don't really care to multiclass. Like a fighter, a pure fighter can do so well. Let's have a look. He does have Sharpshooter. I gave him Archery. You gain a plus two bonus to ranged weapon attacks. Bounty Hunter. You gain proficiency in Investigation. Creatures you hit with Ensnaring Strike, either ranged or melee, have disadvantage on their saving throw. These are all great tools. I wanted him to become a better hunter, and he really is. It's even a build I would use for my own gameplay as my own main PC. Dread Ambusher. You specialize in taking out foes swiftly. You gain a plus three bonus to initiative. Not bad. On your first turn of combat, your movement speed increases by three meters. And you can make an attack that deals an additional 1d8 damage per battle. Let's keep on looking down over here. Fast hands. Yeah. So for a subclass for rogue, thief again, we want two bonus actions. Having more actions, it's incredible. It's so powerful. You want that for sure. What else do we have over here? I mean, we have his great items too. Sort of life stealing. We've got so much. But that is largely it, I think. Yeah. I've got a few other things like Wasteland Wanderer Fire. You gain resistance to fire damage. I thought that would be handy. It's just a decent choice, I think. All right, that's it for right now. We'll have a visit back at camp for just a moment. Edrahill got so much done in today's chapter, but we have so much more to do. We're going to check out the mausoleum. We'll go back to the towers and investigate a little bit more. I want to thank all of you for watching. For those of you who have left, super thanks. Thank you so very much. And if you want to support the channel, the series, leave a like, comment, even sub. Oh, and share with a friend or two. If you tell people about the channel, the videos here, and you let them know what I'm all about, that... We just take our time here. We really soak in the world. We're here to enjoy it for what it is. I don't like rushing through incredible games. I really don't. Why? Because how many times a year, or even by years, 
do you get a game that is truly incredible? The Witcher 3? Baldur's Gate 3? There's only a few for me that I'll go back and play again and again. Dragon Age Origins. So that's why I'm just here to look at every little nook and cranny, as I always say. And it's a great time. I've loved it. Now, I'm going to let you know a little secret here. I've not tried another class yet. I've been playing my Paladin the entire time. I know many of my friends have just tried new races and new classes. For me, I'm okay. I'm having a great time. The Paladin is so mighty. But what I've learned too, the Cleric is a bit slept on. The Cleric is incredible. Trickery Domain, not so much. But Light, War, Tempest, they're all very good. I do advise and also recommend anyone try one because they're able to do so much. It's just a really good time. But that's it for right now. Edrahill gets to rest for just a moment. Then he's got to investigate, maybe fight a few devils. Who knows what else? Oh, we've got to find also that necromancer too. What we'll do with him, I don't know. I don't know what's coming next, but I can't wait to find out what it might be. Thank you for watching. Until then.